Hi, my name is Gabor Sabo. This is the third part of the Perl 6 uh, series of presentations. This time I'm going to talk about arrays and some about ranges. The rest of the presentations can be found linked from this website. As you can recall from the previous presentation, uh, we created an array and then the bunch of values and iterated over the elements with a for loop, putting the values in the dollar $n uh, variable. This time it works the same, so I can execute the eval slurp and the name of the file within the rip REPL and it will print out the content of the array. That's good, but as we can see, these are actually sort of couples. We see the name of someone and then some number, which is probably a phone number belonging to this person. So we'd like to iterate over and take every two elements. Uh, uh, a Perl developer who used to use Perl 5 might or, uh, think that we should just put in this whole thing into a hash and then we can iterate over the keys and the values. There are there's some problem with this though. First of all, we haven't learned hashes yet, uh, which is just um, dictionaries in other languages. Anyway, we haven't learned that yet. Learned them yet. That's one of the problems. The other one is that once you put values into a hash, they uh, immediately lose their order. So we won't know if foo is before bar or the other way around, which might not matter in many cases, but might matter in some other cases. The worst problem in our case is that there are actually two appearances of foo. And if we put the whole data structure into a hash, then we will lose one of them, the first one, most likely. So that's not a good solution. So we somehow need to I iterate over uh, the, the, the couples, but we can't use hashes. The standard way people usually do it is what we can see in the example, in the second example, is iterating over some kind of an index in $i and then fetching out the uh, pairs, calculating the actual index of the, of, the, of the elements. Now the way we can do that is we take the array and then dot alums, this is a method on the array which returns the number of elements divided by 2 and that will give you give us the range where we have to loop over. Let's see how it works. As you can see it actually gives the result as we expected but it also gave two extra entries uh, that were not in, the, in, in our data structure and that's because we haven't calculated correctly the end of the uh, range. So one of the ways we can do is uh, solve this is putting minus 1 here and that would solve the problem. The other way, the probably nicer way, is to tell the range to exclude the last element from the range. And this solves the problem the same way. So this is a nice solution, it would be a nice solution, but Perl 6 can do much better. In Perl 6 we can actually tell the for loop to pull out every two elements by giving two variables here after the arrow. Showing the same results uh, time and again starts to be a bit boring. Anyway, this is the way how we can pull out every two elements. The same way you could pull out three or more and any number of elements as you would like. But what happens if you have two arrays and you would like to combine them pair one by one each element. Again you could walk over the indexes or you can use the zip operator in Perl 6 that takes two arrays and returns and this in the for loop gives you uh, every two value, one from the one array, another, number, another value from the other array. And still giving the same results. Not only that, we actually have another operator here that we can use this is the capital X, which combines the two arrays in a different way. It combines every element of the first array, array with every element of the second array. So you can see foo with all the phone numbers, bar with all the phone numbers, mu with all the phone numbers, and foo again with all the phone numbers, because we had foo twice. The next e in the next example, we can see how we can iterate over a range. A simple range 1 till 10. If I run this, it will print out the numbers from 1 to 10. As we could already see, we can use the caret 
to say that we don't want to include the last element of the array, of the range. Similarly, we could put the caret at the beginning as well, and then it will say exclude the, the, the lower part, lower side uh, of, the, of the range. What happens if you would like to iterate over 1 and then from 3 to 10? So obviously that's not too difficult because I just put in 1 and then the range is from 3 to 10. Execute, executing this will give us 1 and then the numbers from 3 to 10. But that, that's not uh, many times what you want. Many times you would like to have 1, 3, 5, so every 2 element. That's easy in Perl 6 because you just put in another dot and it will turn in the range operator into a series operator. In this case, Perl 6 will try to look at uh, the first two elements and then from that first two elements work out the, uh, the step that how it has to uh, go over uh, the range, reaching the largest num number here. Now as you can see obviously 10 wasn't hit there but once it would pass the upper limit, it stops the iteration. That's good, but it still has some kind of a limitation. What happens if I don't know what's the end of the uh, range? What happens if I would like to go here limitless? Well, Perl 6 could do that, but obviously it would just run and run all the way and would never stop. So in order to uh, make it useful, we probably need to have some kind of an exit code here, some kind of a statement that relieves the loop. So I can type in last if $n is larger than, let's say, 10. Some number there. Now I can use this uh, code again and it will loop from 1 till the uh, condition is met. Obviously, you might have some different kind of condition unrelated to $n just to leave uh, the loop. The same thing that we wrote here is end. We can actually use uh, star, which is the whatever operator of Perl 6. That means that we don't actually know where we would like to stop. This works the same way. And here again, we can use the same idea as we had. So we can Ha use the range from 3 to whatever, or you can see we, can, we want to create uh, a series of 1, 3, 5 to some kind of a limit. And that's it for today. Thank you for listening.